Hey guys, John the Finance Guy here with another video. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go over um, what a house or a car. Um, should you pay off your auto loan or should you uh, keep make payments, keep making payments on it until it's completely paid off after, you know, however many years it takes you to pay it off, you know, your contract, right? Um, so overall, my answer to this would be, and of course, I am not a financial advisor again, my answer would be yes, or it depends on your financial situation and where you at, you're at, at uh, in your current life. Um, and it also depends on like the make and model of the car. So let's say if you have maybe a Honda or a Hyundai, right? I mean, if you have a typical four door sedans by these models, right? 4S for sedans. Typically, these can range from what, like 10,000 new and used to maybe like 35K around there. <clears throat> um, so when you do take out these loans, your principal, right, would typically, uh, your loan would, maybe you're paying off $100 of the principal, <clears throat> and $200 of interest. This is a very general example. Right. <clears throat> so every month you're losing $200 that you could have been spending towards something else, right, in this given situation. Um, let's say if you have like a Mercedes or a Lambo, right, I mean make a down payment on this uh, or whatever however much like three hundred thousand K three hundred thousand dollars right I mean I don't even want to go into the numbers of this thing but um, the interest rate of this vehicle will be extremely extremely high and it would definitely be better to pay it off all at once if you're going to you know drive these kind of cars if you're here you're losing two hundred dollars a month though on any normal you know average middle class car vehicle so you kind of have to ask yourself can you lose you know 10 to 35 grand all at once and is that worth it to save this $200 or is it better for you to keep that and make that investment you know somewhere else like maybe a house right or a rental unit, whatever you want. Maybe you can easily get down payment on a rental unit for 10 to 30K. 
uh, <clears throat> maybe you say like three bedrooms, two to three bedrooms, right? You rent out each room for like 600, five to 600. That's what, like a thousand to about 1500. Right. And then, you know, <clears throat> for a small size unit like this, you say your mortgage, your lending um, principal is around maybe uh, 700, 700 ish. I would say, including everything. Well, not including utilities, of course, but that would be, you, know, you work it out in the contract with your, um, the tenants you are renting it out to. And overall, you'd be profiting, you know, this is a minus, whereas this is a plus 700, maybe even maybe less, at least 500 at the very minimum, right? Um, so overall, you know, this difference would be seven hundred dollars right that you could be potentially keeping in your pocket if you uh if you made the minimum payment on your vehicle and let's say you invested the rest towards a rental unit and you found a, a tenant um, and then rented out for thousand to fifteen hundred <clears throat> and then you get the equity as well as the cash flow. Um, which would overall be a lot better than just paying out for your Honda outright, right? <clears throat> In that scenario, definitely, but overall, um, you know, it doesn't seem like you're losing a lot, but you could potentially be making a lot more with this and that's something I think everyone has to realize or should realize definitely when you consider um, paying fully paying off your auto loan um, again that a lot of this depends on your own circumstance and where you are in your financial journey. Uh, and also the type of vehicle that you are driving as well. So again, guys, if you found this information helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, follow the channel. Stay up to date on my new releases and hopefully uh, this can help someone out there. Give you guys some advice, at least some thoughts. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.